Welcome back to another edition of Valley Living, sponsored by Dakota Plains Realty. Joining me today is Trace Johnson, the sought-after downsizing specialist and real estate agent from Dakota Plains. Good morning. Good morning. Well, welcome back. Thank we always you. love having you. Yeah, so let's jump right into it. What type of safer spaces are you looking for when you're walking through a home? We're going into this period of downsizing. So grandma and grandpa, our parents, either they've lived in a home for decades mm -hmm. or they've already downsized to a smaller space. There's lots of stuff in the home that they haven't decluttered yet. So I'm seeing, you know, spare rooms with loads of laundry, basements where nobody's going down there anymore, but there's stuff. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a pile of uh, empty cardboard boxes yep. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> So I'm trying to decide, you know, can we access our kitchen? Can we access our bathrooms, our bedrooms, our laundry rooms? Those are the things I'm looking for when I'm going through some of these houses. Which is really important, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So how do you determine what is really considered a safe space? When we tell somebody that they have too much stuff in their home, they get really defensive. Yep. So we try to approach it in like a teamwork approach. What is a safer space? I want to be seeing three feet of walkable space. Um, I don't want there to be tripping hazards. If we had to bring in a cot, if there was an emergency, can we get that through the space? Mm -hmm. I want access to doors and windows. Could somebody get out? Could somebody get in? Um, and then I want our outlets accessible. Even if it's neat and tidy, we see sometimes people have bins up against a wall. It might be piles of paper. Um, once we move those things away from the wall, there might be evidence that there was an outlet sparking mm -hmm. and they might not have known that that was really yeah. risky. Mm -hmm. We see condensation coming between the wall and these piles of totes um, and then there might be mold issues. So things might be sitting against a wall for years and people don't realize how risky that might be. So when we're doing these safety assessments, we just want to make sure that things are pulled away um, and that we're not creating additional hazards. Absolutely. Why would you say it's so important to really assess our aging parents' homes? We don't want those increased risks for emergencies. Yep. That's a huge one. And a lot of our parents are looking to age in their place long term. They want to stay there for years. So when we're going through and assessing the homes, not only are we making sure it's a safe space, but we want to think about like home maintenance. Are they still able to do the home maintenance? Mm -hmm. Are there increased risks with them aging there in place? Do we need to add some mo mobility issues, um, things that might help them for the long term? And sometimes we go through and people think they're going to be there long term, but as we start uncovering some things, mm -hmm. we might need to talk to them about what those next steps are. Do they need help downsizing? Do they need help decluttering? Do they need help packing and moving? So we do free in-home consultations where we go through. We'll assess the safer space aspect, but then we kind of talk through and plan that next step for them in case this home isn't going to work long term. Wonderful. So what about for our own homes? Really just making sure that um, we're not tripping over outlets. Yep. We're not having multiple things plugged into one outlet. Those windows that are safe and accessible, that's so important and it's so easy to kind of forget. Like our windows might not open and close like they used to. Or front doors, a lot of people maybe have stuff against their front door. Everybody's used to going around to the back. Mm -hmm. First responders might not know that. So let's make sure those doors are accessible. Absolutely. So how can viewers at home who are watching get in contact with you? The best thing to do is to go to our website, www.abiriver.com, A-B-I-River.com, or they can call or text 701-430-9209. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for that information, Trace. Thanks. Yes, and we'll see you next time. Yes. <laughs> All right, everyone stick around. We have more North Dakota Today coming up after the break.